Okay, Bob, it's going to be hot, but you're saying clear skies for the 4th of July. It's so looking those pretty fireworks. Clear. Let's check out the 4th of July that. forecast. And we know it's going to be hot because we still have a bunch of triple digit days in the forecast. Noontime temperature about 88 degrees, partly cloudy skies on the 4th of July. That's this Saturday, 5 o'clock temperature, 100. And for the fireworks at 9 o'clock, actually, they actually go off probably closer to 10, 15, usually most fireworks displays when it's just dark enough. 92 degrees and mostly clear skies. And here's our weather headlines. Of course, they have to do with the heat. Hot spell continues, more triple digits, and some thunderstorms rumbling to our south today and to our east. In fact, eastern Idaho might have an active weather day, according to the future radar. You'll see that coming up. 86 degrees right now. Winds are light. Warmest temperatures right now. 90s in Caldwell and Ontario. Mount locations in the 70s, almost to break out into the 80s. 100 degrees is what we're forecasting for today. Well above normal, which is 87. There's the record 104, so we probably won't set the record. Got uh, some clouds and some showers just to our southeast. Not a lot of uh, shower activity, really. High pressure in control, and that will be weakening a little bit and be flattening as we head into the first part of next week. We could see some a little bit of relief from the really warm temperatures. We had plenty of lightning, especially in the east central mountains. This is going back to noon to 5 a.m. So firefighters will be watching for some possible fire starts. We even had a thunderstorm uh, that produced some wind damage. More on that. Lots of uh, active weather yesterday in south central Idaho. In fact, here's some storm reports. Hail in Rockland and Power County, pea size hail there. Thunderstorm wind damage in Albion and Cache County. Large tree uprooted there. Even an overturned tractor trailer on Interstate 84 in Rupert. Hayburn saw a fence blown down by 50 mile per hour winds. Also in our neck of the woods, we saw some wind damage. Uh, four inch tree branches blown down. Numerous trees on the property. Uh, thunderstorm wind gusts. Lightning struck a fence and lit it on fire in Wilder in Canyon County right around 11 o'clock last night. Here is our wider view and we'll just switch over to our future cast. It's picking up some moisture just to our southeast with the heating of the day. We might see some showers develop. Also, eastern Idaho might see an active weather day. And uh, again, we'll see a little bit of activity along our southern border tomorrow afternoon, but that is about it. Here is our future radar. Now watch, we'll see uh, some showers start to develop to our south and to our southeast. But look at all the active weather. That's uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon, about 345 or so, 4 o'clock. And that uh, pushes off to the east. At best, some showers along our southern border. And it looks like most of it will hang just to our south and to our southeast. So partly cloudy skies still. We have a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm for the Magic Valley. Same thing for some of our mountain locations like Sun Valley. And for McCall, you're looking at some isolated showers. Sunny for the western end of the valley. Partly cloudy in Boise. Triple digit heat for the next five days. But uh, still pretty warm Sunday and Monday. But maybe that high pressure will break down just a tad. That's a look of weather.